Cause we can barely talk about it Can't go on, can't live without it Carry on without your love Somebody give me a shot Hi guys, this is Jessica with Chapter Chicks and I have a book review for you guys today over Julie Kagawa's The Iron King. And I'm not exactly sure that I'm saying Julie's name right, but that's how I'm going to go ahead and go with it and if it's not right, you can scold me for it later. So, The Iron King was awesome. Alex told me about this book a really long time ago and I never picked it up and I fully, fully, fully regret that now because this book was amazing and it smelled like delicious. I used to think it smelled kind of bad. Oh my god. It smells so good and it's just awesome. This book got a 10 for me. Definitely full across the board 10. There's nothing bad about this book. I want to go ahead and read it back to you guys. First of all, it says, My name is Megan Chase. In less than 24 hours, I'll be 16. Countless stories, songs, and poems have been written about this wonderful age. When a girl finds true love and the stars shine for her and the handsome prince carries her off into the sunset. I don't think it'll be that way for me. And then, on the next thing it says, Megan Chase has a secret destiny. One she could have never imagined. Something has always felt slightly off in Megan's life, ever since her father disappeared before her eyes when she was six. She has never quite fit in at school or at home. When a dark stranger begins watching her from afar, and her prankster best friend becomes strangely protective of her, Megan senses that everything she's known is about to change. But she could never have guessed the truth, that she is the daughter of a mythical fairy king and is a pawn in a deadly war. Now Megan will learn just how far she'll go to save someone she cares about, stop a mysterious evil no fairy creature dare face, and to find love with a young prince who might rather see her dead than let her touch his icy heart. Ooh, that's awesome. I love this book. It it took me three days to read just because I had to work. And I was literally reading this book on my break. I would I like I have to leave 15 minutes before work or I won't make it there on time. And I was literally reading until 345 and then the second the clock hit 346 is when I knew I had to go. Like I was pushing every minute I could to read this book. I read it when I got there. If I, and if I had a couple time, like a little bit of time, I read it on my break. I read it at night, I read it in the morning. And this book was just awesome. Like you cannot, you have to know what happens. You have to know how it ends. You have to know what's going on. You have to know whether she saves the people she's trying to save. And the love story is, it starts off so cute. Like this is the first book in the Iron Fae series. And I cannot wait until the second one, The Iron Daughter. You can read a portion of the, it's kind of like 1.5 online. And I'll put a link to that in the down bar, but I haven't read it yet personally just because I have been wanting to get more book reviews up and I don't like doing the book reviews from the same series like one after the other, which is why I haven't read um, Blood Promise. Yeah, Blood Promise or the next one in the Sweep series or anything like that because I don't like putting up the same series over and over and over, and over again. I like kind of varying it and keeping it different. But yeah, so this book was awesome. Iron King definitely gets 10 stars. It's a book that everyone will enjoy. You have to go purchase it. I mean, oh, it's just, it's so beautiful. Look at this, the way this looks, and then look at the side. It's so pretty. It's so pretty on my bookshelf, and I'm beginning to really, really enjoy the books that Harlequin Teen publishes. So I think I'm going to start getting some more of them. I have a couple right now that I still have yet to read. The Iron King was published in 2010 by Harlequin Queen. It has 363 pages and it is part of the Iron Fae series. It is the first book. 